Now we will continue. This is the session four. It's about treatment. COVID-19 posed many challenges to healthcare, particularly in dementia. Sweden got truly a lot of experience in dementia during the pandemic. So for this presentation, the speaker will talk about the philosophy of the Sylvia Med because she is now CEO of SCI and she will also talk about how the government is responsible for supporting families of dementia patients. So Sylvia Hammett's philosophy is the people-centered. Dear all, my name is Pietra Tegman. I'm the CEO of Swedish Care International. It's an honor to be here today to tell you a bit more about Swedish care philosophy. And it's really a pity that I couldn't be there live together with you today. I wish the situation would have been much more better around the world to be able to meet you all, but hopefully next time. I am a nurse. I have a double MSN in palliative care and in dementia care. I have been working in the elderly care field for all my life, 25 years now, basically. And for 17 years, I was a manager and I was running a nursing home for elderly people with dementia. Today, I work as a consultant and a trainer. And as I mentioned, for I'm the CEO of Swedish Care International. In today's session, I would like to share with you some Swedish dementia care methodology and also tell you a bit more about the training programs that we provide at SCI. My story related to COVID-19 is that in March and in beginning of April, when Sweden was affected by COVID-19, a lot of the nursing staff got sick and there was a shortage of care personnel. So I decided to go back to nursing in a nursing home. At that site, we had at the moment several residents that were confirmed COVID positive. And unfortunately, there was a huge lack of PPEs in Sweden at this time. So it was very difficult to keep um, a good hygiene level and protect both ourselves as staff and also other residents in the nursing home. Unfortunately, I got sick myself and um, was at home for a bit more than a couple of weeks with uh, quite heavy flu symptoms. Now fully recovered though, thankfully. At Swedish Care International, we have education and consultations. We are the main organi organizer of um, the Queen Sylvia Nursing Award, which is an international scholarship to lift nursing talents around the world. It is now um, at this time organized in six different countries and we are still expanding, hoping to one day also be able to share an award in Korea. We also are the main host organization for Dementia Forum X, which is a biannual summit that is held here in Stockholm and now thank to, to Sam and, and Rebrain now also in Korea today. As I mentioned, I wish I could have been there with you, of course. I will tell you now a bit about the Stiftelsen Sylvia Hemmet, which was once founded and initiated by Her Majesty Queen Sylvia of Sweden back in 1996. This was after she realized her mother was diagnosed with a dementia disease. And she immediately realized how important training and knowledge is for people that are looking after per people living with dementia. So Sylv Sylvia Hammett is today an internationally recognized knowledge center in dementia care since they train a lot of nurses, doctors, assistant nurses, and, and physiotherapists, among others. There are training and certification programs for care organizations available internationally by us at, at um, Swedish Care International. The care philosophy that Sylvia Hammett teaches us is 
based on the four cornerstones from the palliative care perspective. Uh, the cornerstones are person-centered care and symptom control. It is family support. It is teamwork and communication and relationship. And it's all based on an ethical base, an ethical foundation, where we all in the staff talk about what is important to be able to provide best kind of quality of life care for our elderly and in, in specific for people living with dementia. The whole care team is needed for this. And of course, we need the family members to be with us. The family members are always the history book for the person living with dementia. They are the ones that can help us give really important information to know how to give the patient the best kind of person-centered care and to expand the quality of life for the person. When it comes to quality of life, that is an, a difficult wording. There is no real definition for it, since it is very personal. What is quality of life to you and what is important to you to be able to feel best kind of quality of life? Five important words that are all are very often recognized when it comes to quality of life is autonomy, hope and trust, meaningfulness, togetherness, and closeness. These are all important topics to be able to feel good and, and, and high level of quality of life. To be able to decide yourself when you need help, what kind of help you need. To be able to feel some kind of hope and trust, even despite the, the difficult disease you have. How can we help the person living with dementia to feel hope despite his diagnosis? And also to feel trust, trust in people around you, people that are looking after you and providing care for you. Meaningfulness and togetherness are very important. Nobody wants to be lonely. A terrible thing that we have seen related to COVID-19 is how many people have been isolated and been living by themselves, which is crucial. Um, to be able to feel meaningfulness and togetherness so you don't feel loneliness because loneliness is not good. Uh, it is difficult to feel a high level of quality of life if you're feeling lonely. Closeness is also another important aspect. To feel that you have people that care for you and look after you, close to you. Um, despite the difficulties with, for example, COVID-19, we always have to find ways to hold hand and to touch people living with dementia um, so they know that they can, they can feel you and they know that you are close to them. Sylvia Hemet e certification is a training program that is provided through Swedish Care International. It is based on the Sylvia Hemet care philosophy and it's mainly online, so it's COVID-19 adapted. Um, we also train some parts face-to-face -face when it comes to management training and the very important reflection training. Uh, this tells you a lot about Swedish know-how and what is important and how can we look after people um, living with dementia and what is important when it comes to care for people living with dementia and for family members. We also have e-learning programs um, that are for care providers and for education programs, which is also based on the Sylvia Hammond care philosophy. Uh, these are short lessons with a focus with a lot of practical advices and it's very user friendly. We also do consultations, even though it's care, management, operations or design. Um, it is COVID-19 adapted, obviously related to the situation we're in at the moment. So we now have an adapted online format for anyone to, to, uh, to take uh, at any time that is convenient for you. We will adjust. If you are interested in consultations, you're more than welcome to, to get in touch with us for a 20 minutes free, uh, free online session at the moment. So looking forward to talk to you all.
Thank you very much for this very short presentation and I hope you will keep in contact and that we can discuss anything of these further. Thank you very much. Thank you. So she talked about the new crisis, COVID-19 pandemic, and the people-centered care.